Hello, hello Libras. Welcome to your June reading. If this is your first time stopping by and if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. It does help me a lot to continue making these videos for you guys. Thank you so much. I do highly appreciate your love and support. I want to wish you all a great month and let's get started with the first week. So you guys start with a sun card, a very happy, very positive time for you guys. This is a great time to go on on vacation, spend some time with your family, with your loved ones, with your children. For those of you who haven't had any time, you've been working very, very hard. You might have had a, a difficult 2020. Maybe didn't, maybe you didn't have a chance to go on vacation on 2020, and you've been working so hard in 2021. Now we're in that mid-year mark, and you want to just relax you know, spend some time in the sun, enjoy yourself, do the things that make you happy, you know, practice a hobby, or even for some of you guys might even start taking lessons for something that you just like. You, you're not thinking so much about finances or all that. You just want to have fun. You just want to do something that your soul is craving. This is also a great time for romance, for, uh, for singles. You will feel more attractive, you will feel like you have so many admirers, all the attention is on you, you're feeling extra funny, extra extroverted, <laughs> extra extroverted in this in this first week. You're you're kind of even others can see your aura just uh, shining and attracting others towards you. And kind of those those Leo qualities you're expressing in the first week of June. You guys are feeling also very optimistic. You're feeling full of life, full of energy. And you can see that. Other people can see that as well in the way you're acting and how funny you are and how friendly you are. So great time for romance. Great time to get to know someone. And for couples, I'm also feeling that you will, this is a great time to uh, rekindle, bring back passion into your life. Do something exciting. If things have become monotonous, do something exciting, okay? Something that reminds you of your youth, of the good times, of the beginning of the relationship. If you have traveled in the beginning, if you've, if there is a place or a spot that always brings back very good positive memories, do that. You know, go, go on that same restaurant, on that same hotel, spend that good quality time together. And it's also a great time for those of you who are planning to, um, to get pregnant. It's a great time, uh, to conceive. It's fertility. Also, this, the, that sun energy is connected with fertility, is connected with new life. So that's what I'm feeling in the first week. And for those of you who have had any health issues prior to the first week of June, you will start to feel better. You will get your, your energy level back and, and, Everything is going the right way. You might also get good news in terms of an application or something that is very, or a project or something that is very, very close to your heart, something that you really love, something that you're really passionate about. And getting that good news is going to make you feel so excited and so happy and just absolutely in, in, in a state of just feeling like a little like a little child, just want to play and have fun and, and kind of, um, you know, embrace all those emotions that, that you have. And you haven't been feeling for a while. You, I'm feeling you guys have been, have been so busy with different things that you haven't had the chance to really live life and enjoy the small things. Enjoy, uh, enjoy going to the beach and laying in the sun or enjoying, you know, a nice, um, a nice meal or all the things that you really want to do. In the second week with the Knight of Pentacles, I'm feeling for those of you who are in a relationship with an earth sign or someone that has their ascendant in an earth sign, so either uh, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, I'm feeling that even though the relationship is perfect, everything goes great, this person is very loyal towards you, very dedicated, 
they truly love and care for you and they they're stable this is a very stable relationship you've got nothing to worry about you're looking for and you're ready to take that chance and take the relationship to the next stage i'm feeling so you want to either get married for those of you who are not married yet or you're trying to maybe start living together or take it to the next level to the next stage or introducing one another to your family members or something and you're feeling that this person is is not really taking that those steps and you're wondering especially if those of you who have been in vacation together in the first week you're wondering wow we have such a great time everything was perfect why is this person not why is why is uh, he or she not saying okay let's let's do this together you can, you're waiting so you've been waiting for a while for that for that push for that proposal or you've been waiting for for a long time to take this relationship to the next level uh, and some of it can be because of the fact that this person is still a bit immature. It's not ready yet to fully commit. It's taking things slowly. But that doesn't mean that they are not loving and dedicated towards you. And for those of, for, for the singles who might have met this, this earth sign, uh, during this first week, during this vacation time, this is a great person if you were looking to build a long-term relationship or if you want something, um, if you want a long-term relationship, if you want something stable. If you're only looking for a, a summer adventure, then then the Knight of Pentacles wouldn't be the right, <laughs> the right person for you. If it was the Knight of Wands, a fire sign, that would be a different story. But in this case, it's not, it's not that. If you, this is the type of person that wants something stable and something long term. Uh, in terms of your career, money, finances, things are going well. They're not moving as quickly as you want them to move. If you're looking for, if you're waiting for a promotion or if you're waiting to hear back um, to maybe get a better title or a pay increase or anything of that sort, they're not really going as fast as you want as you want them to go but uh, things I'm feeling that are very stable you're secure you don't have to worry about losing your job or you know or being laid off or anything of that sort things are uh, are very stable and in the third week with the ace of swords I see that this is a time for you guys to really be clear about your intentions what you want say say how you feel um especially if you're dealing with this earth sign they're taking things too slow now you're feeling like okay i have to do something even though you don't like to be confrontational libras you don't like to uh be the person that actually puts it out there you like to compromise you like to always be very diplomatic but time has come when you feel ready you're ready to take the next step and you will take the initiative say how you feel put everything lay all the all your cards in the table you're very you're communicating very clearly you're very honest uh you are very also very smart very intelligent the way you're you're expressing yourself it would be very clear for the other person to understand you're making sure that there is no uh, misunderstanding no disagreements no oh you said something but you meant something else no you want everything to be completely clear and this will bring you victory okay this will bring you those results that you're looking for you will come out of this situation feeling better about the fact that you took control of your life, that you took charge of things. And this can be not just in terms of relationships, but also for different areas in your life when you feel that you you might not be completely happy how things are going. And if, if you're not happy and you want to start something new and you want to open a new chapter, do it yourself, okay? Take Take charge of your own life, take charge of your own situation and take the steps that you need to take to make this happen. Don't just wait for someone else to uh, just just don't be a person that just stands by and waits for others to give you that opportunity. Go and get it yourself and be clear, communicate clearly what you want. 
in the third, in the last week, I'm sorry, with the three of pentacles, I'm feeling that you guys want to be considered an expert or you want something better for yourself in terms of your career or your finances, but you still have a lot of work to do. You're not quite there yet. You need more experience. You need to work with others more. You need to, um, you need to, Take charge, but also kind of get out of that bubble. Because especially for those of you I'm feeling, you guys, that have a, an office job, when you go, you're sitting down, you're doing, your, your, you're doing whatever you have to do, whatever tasks you have during the day, and nobody hears about you. You're not really working with other people. You're not really involving in yourself in any group projects or any type of activity. Then other people can't know how they, they can't see your potential they can't see your leadership skills they can't really appreciate your true value if you're not putting yourself out, out there so try to work with others more you know learn from others try to involve yourself with different groups and different projects to uh to kind of shine and and express Part of, parts of your personality even more. And if you need to learn some new skills, if you need some extra training, do so. I'm also feeling on a more day-to-day uh, -day basic life things. I'm feeling that you guys might have an issue when it comes to having to hire an expert, okay? You might need to do some repair, some uh, car repair, or something might break in your home. You need to add, to, to call um electrician or something need, need, uh, needs to get fixed. And I'm feeling that a lot of you guys will try and do it yourself, kind of like a DOI project. You, you, you're going to tell yourself, oh, no, I can do this myself. I can figure this out. But it's not gonna, it's not gonna result, and the results are not gonna be the same. You probably chances are it's, it's too big of a project, uh, and you guys are not really expert in this particular area. So don't just just hire someone, okay? Hire a professional. Hire someone that can f do it, fix it for you, because you will, you might end up even spending more money by doing something yourself now you're now you have to fix whatever you did and whatever was previously wrong with with that that particular object or you know the particular situation because it can be different things for different people i'm just i'm just feeling that you will need to hire an expert okay this, this is not something that you can do yourself that's what i'm feeling with the three of pentacles and from the oracle, from the astrology oracle, we have the sign of Sagittarius. So this is telling me for those of you Libras who have your ascendant or your moon sign in Sagittarius, this is your energy, strongly your energy. And this is also the time to incorporate within yourself some of the characteristics of Sagittarius, meaning they're known to be very outspoken, say things how they feel, be very uh, vocal about how, um, saying things how, uh, expressing themselves exactly how they feel. Sometimes they can even uh, be considered they're uh, tactless or they're not you know, they don't really think about the consequences. They think about something, they, they have a specific opinion, and they put it out there. And that's what I'm feeling with Sagittarius. You have to be clear, and you also have to learn. Sagittarius love to get more information, learn, explore, you know, adventure, living life. It, this is also a good time, a time of fortune, time of good fortune, good things coming your way, because Sagittarius is also connected with, it's ruled by Jupiter, the planet of abundance, good fortune. Um, it's a great time for travel, especially long distance traveling great time for that uh it's also connected with immigration for those of you guys who have applied you're waiting to hear something back any type of paperwork uh also great time for that as well with the use of sword um great time to hear back for uh for any type of paperwork or 
if you're trying to relocate yourself to move to another country, great time for that as well. This is a blessed time, especially, as I said, for those of you who have your ascendant or moon sign in Sagittarius. But it's also time to, you know, express yourself, be friendly, learn more, study, uh, meet new people, networking, communicate with others. That This is, this is a time to just... To, to completely release all your potential in June because the opportunity is going to be there. It's just a matter of you guys going for it. And from the Oracle of um, Angels, Angels answers the messages, you're ready. So if you guys don't resonate, if none of these messages resonates with you, but you've been asking this question within your head you you want to do something you've been wondering if you're ready and for some reason you clicked on this video the chances are that you were brought here this is a sign from the universe from your spirit guides from your higher self you can call it whatever you want this is the this is a sign for you to tell you you are ready, okay? You're ready to take the next step. You're ready to start something new. And the ace in the third week is a clear indication of starting something new, a new beginning, a new beginning in a relationship status, um, a new beginning in Find in your finances, in your career, a new beginning, and doing something that you love, that you crave, something that you might bring up from something from a passion to bring it into something that can maybe be, you know, you can make money off of and completely rebuild something from for yourself. So it, the the it's a confirmation, it's a clear confirmation that all the things that you've been going through have have been preparing you for this point okay and now you're ready so take the next step and also it's a good time because we have the sagittarius energy here indicating good luck fortune expansion so great time to get started with something new and from the oracle of love the message is when it comes to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay, beautiful, beautiful message. As I said, I'm feeling strongly for those of you guys who will take the the who will take that responsibility within yourself, who will have a conversation with this earth sign and say, "Hey, I'm ready. I'm ready to move our relationship uh, our relationship to the next stage." I'm feeling that either way no matter what the answer is from this person, you will still either learn, have a, have, um, learn from this experience. If they say no, that they're not ready and they say, Hey, you want to get married? I'm not ready to get married. Maybe this is the time for us to, um, to kind of move away from one another because we're not looking at why we have different opinions. That is still an experience because that's going to, that that is something that you can use in your next relationship before you get emotionally deeply emotionally involved with someone you can ask that that question ahead of time hey i'm looking for a commitment i'm looking for marriage i'm looking for a serious relationship if you're not committed if you're not ready to have a um if you're not ready to get married or really be committed to someone let me know from the beginning before you actually start having deep feelings for this person okay so if that goes if it's if the answer is a no that's an experience something that you can learn from or if the answer is yes of course this is going to take your uh, relationship your love to the next level you feel even more connected with one another and it's going to be something even, even beautiful even more beautiful so either way it goes either way it goes you will still end up feeling there is no right or wrong in uh, when it comes when it comes to love and life, and there's uh, of course different things apply for different people, but it's important to be in the same, to have the same vision, okay, and to have the same kind of be in the same life journey, okay. If you if you if you're in a path when you want commitment, you want to have someone that wants commitment as well, because in a way, if you're if you're keeping yourself with someone who doesn't have your same vision, then you're stopping yourself. You're not 
allowing yourself to get to know someone else that maybe might be a better fit for you or someone that might have more in common with you or 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 be that true love of your life or your soulmate okay so yeah this is all the messages that i had for you guys i hope you enjoy your reading if you did please like comment and share with other libra friends as well thank you so much for stopping by and i see you next time bye bye